Hey everyone, and greetings from San Antonio, Texas. I go by the legend, this is my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. Hi. And we're here in San Antonio. We're visiting the theme parks, but we're also going to do our fair share of eating and drinking in some of the best destinations around the city. So in this video, we're gonna show you everywhere we eat and drank in San Antonio. It is lunchtime and it's time for a, uh, a San Antonio institution. I've never had puffy tacos before. I have never either. But I'm pretty excited for them, and they, they, I've heard nothing but great things. And I love the sign. Yes. So when you sit down, you are welcome with a complimentary big thing of chips and salsa, which is always wonderful. And the, the drinks are, uh, they're, they're big drinks. So the food came out really, really quick. We both got the, the kind of the pick three combo. It's $13. Mm -hmm. You can see the puffy tacos there. Yes. Complete with the puff. Yes. I have a beef. Uh, spicy beef um, enchilada, or sorry, puffy taco, and then a cheese enchilada. And then everyone gets rice, and you get a choice of beans, either refried or chara. Mm -hmm. There's also tortillas. And then uh, I'm not so big on the salad, so I didn't get that, but I got a, a shredded chicken. Oh, that wasn't the shredded chicken. I got a shredded chicken okay, one, a beef one, and then a, uh, a carne gusito one. But these look, these look delicious. And the food really came out good. so quick. All right, this is one of the, the restaurants I was most excited for. Uh, right outside of like downtown San Antonio, going to Dignity Meats. A quick look at the menu here. It's barbecue, but mostly like it's done in sandwich kind of stuff. One of us we know is gonna get that burnt end melt. Burnt ends, cheddar mac and cheese, Hair barbecue sauce on ciabatta. You got a brisket sandwich as well. Oh, a pit beef looks good. And then a little bit of like more healthy sandwich too, like a turkey stuff, smoked bologna. But uh, definitely some, some good looking stuff here. So we're here on a Saturday, so they have a slightly different menu. You got meats a la carte on the left. Like Nashville hot chicken. Like, hey, I'm you back, bro. Look at that loaded baked potato. Right. A, a buttermilk fried chicken sandwich. Their Frito pie. All right, I'm right Ooh, a San Antonio style with flaming hot Cheetos. Good stuff. And they got a whole bunch of crap here. Guys, the food looks amazing. We got the loaded baked potato. You can't even see the pulled pork. And the baked potato is now bigger than a softball. And of course, the burnt ends melt with mac and cheese. Yes. This looks so good. It is burger time. And for burgers, we're going to Chris Madrid's. Heard good things. The menu here is pretty simple. A whole bunch of burgers, a cheddar cheesy, tostada, that's what we're going to go with. Cheeseburger, one with bacon, an old fashioned. They also got some chalupas, nachos, and fries. And here is the food. They got the small fries, and then look at this burger. That's Molly's hand. And, like, and that's like a normal burger bun. And this ridiculous mammoth. We did opt for like the, the macho size Which burger. Which is a half pound. And uh, you might think this looks like a normal cheeseburger, but we ordered that tostada burger. So when you lift it up, like all the stuff is underneath, like chips and this is a crazy looking thing. It's gonna be difficult to eat. Yes. So we're now in the Market Square section of town to uh, visit another institution, the Mitera Cafe and Bakery. So we're gonna eat in the bakery side. Love the ceiling in here. Here's a look at some of the treats. It is uh, very different. Like uh, growing up in New York, I'm used to like Italian bakeries. And this is uh, very different. Everything looks good though. I don't even know what some of this is. Alrighty, so this is our haul from the bakery. We spent about eight dollars. 
I got this. I don't remember what it was. I got two cookies that were highly recommended. A cinnamon cookie and a macaron. Molly, you went kind of funky. You got a pumpkin and empanada. empanada. And then just a plain turnover, I guess it is. It's Looks pretty good. So while their inside might not be open, they've got a DJ spinning tunes as we wait for our food here at Big Papa's Tacos. Guys, so we got the burrito here and it is massive. And they asked us like, hey, what do you want in the burrito? Do you want Red Hot Cheetos? Absolutely. Do you want French fries? As Molly's camera turns off. Absolutely, I want French fries in my burrito. This is a amazing. heck of a burrito. Very like, thick I'm, not, I'm not even hungry. We were gonna get Molly a meal. We're, we need, we, I think we really need to share this because this is... Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Good morning, it's breakfast time and that means breakfast tacos. We're at Pete's Taco House. They're $1.89 for each one. I had no idea they were gonna be this big. Molly, which ones do you get? I got the uh, bean and eggs, potato and eggs, and bacon eggs. And I got uh, bacon and eggs. Chorizo and eggs and potato and eggs. Solid stuff. Our next destination is the Smoke Shack for some barbecue. So when we were visiting, the Smoke Shack was doing takeout only, but look at this. We got their brisket grilled cheese. This, Molly is a big fan of grilled cheese. I'm a big fan of brisket. So uh, this looks like a winner. Also came with fries. Well, you got your choice of side, we just have to with fries. For our next stop, we're going up. Way up, like 700 feet up to the Tower of the Americas, to the bar and restaurant at the top, but we're just going to the bar. So here's the view from up top in the bar area. Pretty snazzy. We're, uh, we're over here during happy hour. They were at happy hour Monday to Friday, 4.30 to 7. And a uh, really nice menu too. We went fancy cocktails this round. We did. I am drinking a pomegranate martini. Molly, how is yours? It's like a- I haven't tried it. It's a sparkling edelflower apple wine. Give you a quick look at that happy hour menu here. Starts with food. It's really good. I mean, it, that sounds fantastic. Prime them sliders. And then you get to the drinks down here. So you got $7 cocktails, $6 wines, $8 fancy wines, $6 wells, $8 I guess calls, and then $5 beers. And it is, uh, it's free to come up here as well. Unlike the, uh, like it's like $14 if you want to go to the observation tower. If you want to go to happy hour, it's free. Also, they have a fancy restaurant down below. But the cool thing, it's a rotating restaurant. So you'll see all of uh, the skyline of San Antonio as you enjoy your meal. Also, I love those booths. Those are so cool for two people. Now when one thinks of San Antonio, they probably think of the Riverwalk, obviously the famous downtown area. And the best thing about the Riverwalk, well, one, it's beautiful. Two, there's no open container law. So you could go get a big beer, like we just bought a $3 giant Bud Light Seltzer at CVS. And we're gonna walk around and people watch and enjoy the, the awesome scenery down here. Yeah, gorgeous. So it's time to grab like a giant comedy margarita and wander the Riverwalk. So we're going to grab one here at the Thirsty Aztec right on the river. So here are some of the drinks and they are just nutty looking. Like shooters, jello shots, tons of flavors. Oh, we went with their, their house specialty, which is not cheap. This is a $39 drink. Probably the most expensive drink I've ever bought in my life. Three shooters, three jello shots, 44 ounces. Let's go. So here is Molly holding it like a trophy. The most expensive drink I think I've ever bought in my entire life. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah. $39. $39 for this baby. A 44 ounce frozen drink that already has booze in it. It looks like a tie-dye shirt. 
It does. And then you go to the top, and there's three shooters in there. Is it two tequila and one rum? I think so. Oh, you also get discounted refills, so if you want to come back. And, and you got three jello three shots. Three jello shots. There's one jello shot there because Molly's already drank two jello shots. I did only one and a half before I realized you haven't filmed. <laughs> but like, it, it looks like a tie-dye t-shirt. It's pretty, pretty wild. It is crazy. So for our next drink, we're over here by the Riverwalk and the Alamo and Ripley's. And if you know us here at In The Loop, we love us a good German beer garden. And if you get drinks to go right now, and uh, there's Molly drinking our leader. We're doing a Polner Hefeweizen. But they have a really, really nice selection of like German draft beers. Mm -hmm. In the leader, you can get them in the boot and all sorts of stuff like that too. And then they've got a, we're not gonna do any food, but they got a German food and stuff as well. Well guys, I could really go for a cocktail and we're over here at the mall and there's a Margaritaville and I normally enjoy Margaritaville, so let's step inside. So I tend to enjoy Margaritaville. This is not one of the more like crazy ones, but they do have the obnoxiously oversized comedy blender there. And uh, we're sitting at the bar area, which is pretty nice, done up as a, a tiki hut kind of thing. But for me, the real reason coming to something like this is like, this is the cocktail menu. And it's the size of a placemat. And the thing I really like, they have this section over here, which all the cocktails use Old Smoky Mountain Moonshine. And I love me some Old Smoky from up in Gatlinburg. We went with the Tsunami, which is a White Lightning Hunch Punch, as well as then Sprite and Sour's Mix. Now, not gonna be the strongest drink in the uh, that you find on the Riverwalk, but uh, it's quite the beverage menu. So we're now right on the Riverwalk at Landry's Seafood House for happy hour. I'm drinking a wonderful Mai Tai for six dollars. Molly went with a blue moon, but their happy hour menu is awesome, especially like the weekends. Yeah, but you don't see much. No, like Monday to Friday it's three to six, but Saturday and Sunday it's it's all afternoon. Cocktails and martinis. And I think at some point we'll probably order some food for like two seventy five drafts. Like, I love crispy onion strings. Mm hmm. Buffalo chicken sliders. Blue cheese sliders, too. Like, it's on the menu. This is a gigantic appetizer for $4. Onion tanglers and jalapenos. Right now, we're here at Ostra on the river walk, enjoying some air conditioning. Full disclosure, we came in because Molly needed a bathroom. But I'm enjoying a nice beer. I'm drinking a. Uh, a fireman's store golden ale from real ale but the one thing i wanted to show off like holy cow look at this tequila list like they're not messing around with tequilas here so our san antonio adventure has come to an end we're eating some final breakfast tacos here in the airport in the danish and uh molly what was your highlights of the food and drinks that we had Oh, that sandwich. That sandwich. I think it was the best Amazing. sandwich I've had in my life at Amazing. the Dignity Meats. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to have dreams about it. It was mm -hmm. that good. The burnt ends melt with the, the mac and cheese. Um, I love that. My other, my second favorite was also the um, the Big Papa's Tacos with the, the burrito with that French fries and flaming hot Cheetos in it. I like the puffy tacos, too. Yeah. They're good. So there we go. Hope this video helped you if you're planning a trip to San Antonio or you're probably hungry now. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone.